Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Positively Papercraft. Um, I haven't done a video for oh, a while now. I've just been so busy with orders for kits and flowers. I just have not had a spare minute. So I've managed to put a bit of time aside and do one today. We're going to make like a kind of flower shadow box. Um, I'm sure you've seen them. But obviously ours is going to be made from paper and card and paper flowers instead of like you know the kind of wood frames and whatnot so I've already done my flowers I have shared these dies before they are the heartfelt creations dies but you can use any flowers that you want so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have mine like light to dark so I'm gonna have them four four in a row and four rows if that makes sense so I'm gonna have like light pink then I'm gonna go another shade of pink then I'm gonna go darker pink and then the final row is gonna be red so I, I think you get what I mean it's gonna be just basically a flower kind of box that you can put on the wall or gift to whoever you want so any flowers you like you don't have to have these you can use whatever you prefer you could even make them from foam if you wanted to so 4 8 12 16 flowers is what I've made now the first thing I want to do is I want to have them on a kind of background so I've cut just a piece of paper which I believe is 8 by eight and a half by nine eight and a half by nine inches I've cut a piece of card to like mount it on which is the same measurement and then all I'm going to do is I need to get these glued onto here like all in per a perfect row of four so I'm just going to glue them on with the hot glue gun and I'll do it off camera because it's going to take us a while because I want to I want to try and get them where there's as small a gap as I can so I want to really get them together in the center of this piece of paper so I will stick them all down and I'll come straight back all right everyone that's what we've got just basically a board of our flowers so I've also got a little clay embellishment I made just a little butterfly and what I might do is I might just hot glue it kind of inside somewhere yeah I might just put it somewhere there so I'm just going to put just a bit of glue on the back and I'm just going to glue him in there I can get it to stay. Okay, so I'm just going to put that to one side for now. Right, so to build our shadow box frame, I've done this a couple of times. I did the big advent calendar for Christmas and I did the box with four gift boxes in it. It's the exact same principle as that, so, but I'll still go through it. The base of the shadow box needs to be. 11 and a half by 11 inches so you want the 11 inches that way and you want the 11 and a half um, horizontal you're going to need two pieces of five and a half by 11 and they are going to be for the sides and we're going to score the other two the same all the same we score all four pieces the same I've already done them and then you are going to need two which are eleven and a half by five and a half so all of the four pieces are going to be scored the same and we are going to score them all on the short side exactly the same at half an inch um, one and three quarters 
three inches and four and a quarter. Do that to all four of your pieces. So half an inch, it's basically um, half an inch then every one and a quarter inches. Um, one and three quarters, three, four and a quarter. So you'll end up with four pieces like that. And just bear in mind them two are slightly longer, sorry, them two um, are slightly shorter, as I said in the beginning. So fold and burnish these. So we are going to stick the shorter ones, the 11 inch in length, like this on the two sides, okay? So just want a bit of glue down here. glue them on there. Basically, as I said, like the other boxes, they are just going to fold over. They are going to create our frame. Now the bottom frames, we're going to have to do a little bit of snipping because we need them to be able to go over. So we're going to have to cut um, some, a little measurement, uh, cut a little piece out of them. So what we can do first though, is if we put glue on all, all down this edge, because that is going to stick there. So we've got our two sides and I'm just wanting to check, I hope I have got this right. Yeah, now can you see how that will just sit in there? Because I've, what I've basically done is I've built this, then I've measured the frame to fit the flowers. Okay, so I think this is going to, this would make a beautiful gift for somebody, but I'm going to hang it on my wall. Now, the two pieces that go on the bottom, obviously they will stick under just the same, like this. Then we can't fold them round because they're getting in the way. So what we are going to have to do is, let me just get this right. So it's the side comes up like this. Um, yeah, so your thin score line there miss that score line the next score line we need to measure in one and a quarter inches from the sides so it's the one two three it's the third score line from the very thin section here measure in one and one quarter inches do that on both sides measure in one and a quarter okay and then what we will do is when we pop it on like this we what we will do is we will cut from here to the pencil line and then straight down okay so i'll just get my scissors So cut, so then here we have one, two, the second score line, just cut to the pencil mark, which is 
just there. You can measure it if you want, do it with a ruler and pencil. Then I am just going to cut straight down like that. Okay, do the same again. So one, two, second score line, cut to the pencil mark, then cut straight down. So that's what you should end up with. And then when we come to pop this on, can you see that now? That will then accommodate for the two frames that we've already got at the side. I'm just trying to get this to sit properly so I can show you. That will accommodate the frames. Okay. Now we need some little pieces of card. I've got four here. They are just one and a quarter inches wide by two inches in length and I'm just going to half them so they'll be one inch so scored in the middle or like I've just unfolded them. We're not going to see them. So it's just to uh, glue the tops together which we'll do that in a minute. So one and a quarter by two and then fold them in the middle. So you end up with four little pieces like that. So I am just going to quickly cut this other piece the exact same as that and I'll be straight back. Okay I'm back. So those little pieces of card that I said, what you're going to do is you're just going to glue them on the inside of here. I'm going to show you. So I've got one here, I'm just going to put glue on there and then I am going to glue it into the edge of the frame like that. I've done that with the bottom and there is my frame now. So we're going to do this last one and get the other piece of frame on. Just glue on there and just glue all four of your pieces in all four corners like this. Okay. All right. And it will just be like that. So we've got the last one to put on here. Now I just want to make sure that I can fit my flower frame in after this is glued or whether I'm going to have to put it in now. So let's just pretend I've stuck that on there and then I've got my beautiful frame of flowers. Yeah, I can get that in afterwards. So we want glue on this little skinny score piece here. And then we are going to glue this on the back. Press that down. Check that's stuck at the back. And then we want some glue on our little tabs that we made there. And we also want some on here. I mean that looks a really beautiful frame and the measurements of it when it's together it's 11 and a half 
by 11 and it's one and a quarter inches deep so it's actually a really good size and then we can put glue under them in a minute and tighten them up you know it's up to you so this will sit in here um, I think what I'm going to do for that is I'm just going to plunk hot glue in inside the frame Okay, and then that should keep that stuck into there. Just get something to stick it down in between the flowers. Isn't that gorgeous? That would make such a beautiful gift. Absolutely beautiful. Now, what I wanted to do was, I don't know if I'm going to get away with it, but I've got a piece of acetate here. Now, let me see. Oh, see, if you have a 12 by 12, that would be fantastic, but I don't. I might be able to get away with it. So, I just so I want mine there so say if I mark if I score this if I score each end of this acetate at one and a quarter because this what size does this acetate measure it's 12 by yeah nine if it's 12 by 12 brilliant mine's not it's 12 by nine so it's this way that i'm struggling but if you have got 12 by 12 score all four sides at one and a quarter and this should work so let's have a look here so if we score because i wanted to make it look you know like like more realistic i suppose so one and a quarter and then one and a quarter Pull that over. Just have to be careful with acetate because even though you've scored it, it still can be funny to fold it. Right, so that's that there. And then what I wanted to do was kind of pop it in here, glue it in the sides like this to get it down the side of the flowers without them catching. But obviously I'm going to have to score really small piece so I'm probably gonna have to score oh god I don't know maybe it's one eighth of an inch on that way but if you've got 12 by 12 you'll score again at one and a quarter so just bear with us a second and I'll be back okay everyone I think I've managed to work out the acetate um, and I'll put the sizes on my blog but it would be easier if you just had a 12 by 12 so what I want to do as well is I thought it would be nice to like heat emboss something across the middle 
Um, so what I've got is just a stamp here which is Live, Love and Laugh um, with a little heart and I'm going to heat emboss it with some gold embossing powder. So I think I'm going to do it uh, sort of near the bottom I think because this is heat resistant. Well, I hope it is. Hi everyone, I'm devastated all that and it's not heat resistant. I mean, it looks beautiful as well with that on, but you can see it's just kind of, it's it's just melted. Can you see there? It's melted and it looks like it's got this awful kind of big lump in it now, which is such a shame. I mean, it's Crafter's Companion, it says it's heat resistant, but Clearly it isn't, so I can't put that on, but I will get some um, sticks to sell it, and I've used it loads, and it's fantastic. So, I'm a bit gutted about that. I thought that looked really nice as well, but you might not be able to pick it up on camera, but it, you can see where it's just kind of melted it in, in the bottom. So, never mind. We're going to cover the back, and I've just got a piece of white card which I've cut to is this the right piece 11 and a quarter by 11 and a quarter but it doesn't look like it's the right size I'll just cut this down a little bit oh, yeah that'll do and it's just because I want to put some ribbon on the back and I want to hide it and just make it a bit more stronger. So this is the top. So I am going to glue a piece of ribbon just to hang it up. That's the front and I hope you will give it a try but I'm just gutted about the acetate. So yeah I'll have all the info on my blog. Um, thanks for watching, take care and bye for now.